And in the wake of the Santa Barbara County shooting rampage, we're learning more about the mental state of the shooter, Elliot Roger. That's right. Psychologists are now saying that Roger shares some common characteristics with other rampage killers. I will destroy you. <laughs> Twenty-two-year-old Santa Barbara shooter Elliot Roger joins a disturbing group of young male rampage killers that have a lot in common. Sandy Hook killer Adam Lanza, James Holmes, the Aurora movie shooter, the Columbine killers, and Jared Launer from the Tucson massacre were all in their late teens to mid-twenties at the time of the shootings. All of them grew up in relatively stable environments, except the Columbine shooters. All attended at least some college, and all of them had mental health issues. They come from a world where they're cared for and nurtured, they have resources, they're protected. PhD psychologist James Gabarino has spent more than 20 years studying and writing about murderers. He's written several books including Lost Boys, Why Our Sons Turn Violent. While Roger is half Asian, Gabarino believes one of the reasons the vast majority of ravage killers in the U.S. are young white men is because their mental illness is mixed with an inflated ego. The environment that they're in uh, and the narcissism that they experience, all of that sort of predisposes them to take on these vendettas against their perceived enemies. I don't know what you don't see in me. I'm the perfect guy. The same condition in a kid who's living in a poor neighborhood, who's living with gangs, who's living with abuse, who's living with poverty and deprivation. Uh, they will do sort of crazy things, but it'll be aimed at an individual, not at sort of abstractly society in general. Garberino also believes that young white men suffering from mental illness are kept afloat longer because of a more supportive environment, which allows their delusional anger and frustration to grow, which means to be true with Elliot Roger, according to family friend Simon Astaire everyone for many years and the shame is that in the end no one could rescue what had happened on Friday night and what these boys who go out to kill don't understand is that when they murder one they murder many because they don't just kill the people that lie dead on the streets or in apartments or in galleries or in cinemas they kill thousands and thousands of others who are connected to those. Sadly, Garbarina believes there are more of these young men out there. And until something is done to prevent people struggling with mental illness from obtaining guns, we should all expect that these ravages will continue. Miguel Alvarez, NZ Today.